and we're back to Final Fantasy 2! Last time, we ascended the... I think it's the Tower of Babel? I don't think it's the Tower of Zada anymore, it's the Tower of Babel. We defeated the weird doctor guy who appears once, never appears again. Now we are going to find the control room! To shut down the super cannon to save the dwarves! Because that's just how we do things here. Someone needs something done? Don't question it, just do it. Standard RPG rules. We will beat the crap out of all the stone men that we need to. Ah, oh, dang! Kane is doing ridiculous damage, actually. Locked! Oh, great, where's the key? Oh, tower. There we go. Opened! Super cannon! Goodbye, dwarves! Your fun is over! You! How did you get in here? Get them! And it's just some imps. That's incredibly anticlimactic. That's okay. I was actually thinking about it the other day. I think this might have actually been the first game to use the modern Final Fantasy MP system. Well, modern. I haven't used it in a while, but... The typical Final Fantasy MP system. God, these things died fast. What was the point of this battle? Of course, this is an illustration of the... Where Final Fantasy always tried to keep the player playing, even if it's not doing anything particularly amazing. Keep the player pressing buttons. That's the philosophy. How about this? No one can stop the super cannon anymore. Oh, what? Yang, what are you doing? I'll take care of this. Go on, escape. No, don't. It'll explode. Go. Yang, tell my wife to live for me. Open up, Yang. Yang, please, please don't do this. It was all a good trip with you all. It was a good trip with you all. I didn't need that first all. It was not even totally there. Yang, open the door. That's what I was talking about the other day with being able to read fast but not getting it word for word. I get sort of meanings rather than direct quotes. Ah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to that. Yang! It doesn't open. Um, I'm not sure where to go now. Do I go back up? Or do I go back down and leave? I probably leave. I mean, that was why I came in, to destroy the super cannon, so I guess I could go back to the dwarves. So I guess I can just exit. Hopefully? What is the point of that spell if it never works? <laughs> do I actually have to walk all the way back down again? I can't even remember the way, it's been a couple days, so... I might actually just get lost and accidentally find all the weapons I missed before. Oh yeah. As I was saying before, I'm pretty sure this is the first one to use the typical Final Fantasy MP system. Before this, all of the games still use the Dungeons and Dragons style different power charges for different levels system. Did they? I'm pretty sure they did. You had like you could have so many uses of level one spells, so many uses of level two spells. That kind of thing. I'm pretty sure this is where they stopped doing that. This is what invented the one big MP pool you can draw from for everything mechanic. Which is kind of a cool thing. I really don't want to bother. It'll be obsolete soon enough. Oh, that's why I couldn't exit. You have amused me a lot. 
Go, Bez! This is all for play, kids. Farewell. Wasn't I at the bottom of the tower? How'd I... Oh, never mind. Just in time. Sid! Where's Yang? He... To destroy the super cannon. I see. Poor Yang. Who's this girl? Rydia, the caller of mist. Shucks, they are coming! Golly gee willikers, they're coming fast! Can't we shake them off? Looks like they've modified the Red Wings. So they outdid what you did, so... You're not very good at this, Sid, apparently. He's catching up! Give it your best, Enterprise! He's just sort of wiggling behind us. The engine can't last much longer! Cecil, take the control! Sid, what are you doing? Get out of the underground! I'll close the hole with this bomb! Drop the bomb, Sid! Drop it! Oh, Sid, I wanted to see your children, Rosa, Cecil. But I guess I'll stay here for a while. Go to Baron and get my workers to help you. Sid, come on! Be good, Rydia. How condescending can you get? Especially in this situation. Hurry to Baron! Golbez, I'll show you the great fireworks of Sid, the Master Engineer! As he explodes into a million pieces, my blood will rain upon you and sully your cape! I'm not even sure why any of that happened. It never occurred to me. That's just such a weird sequence of events that comes out of nowhere. Why did I escape the underground? I could have gone back to the dwarves. Why did Sid jump off? He could have dropped the bomb. Why was he there in the first place? Why was I falling from the bottom of the tower? Sid, why? It's too dangerous. We'll head toward Baron. Well, at least we got our ship back. As I keep saying, I keep kind of poking fun at the story a little bit. But it's not because I hate it. I like the story, I like the characters. And I'm okay with some story weirdness, as long as it's in service of keeping the gameplay. They obviously did that to give me the airship back. And then put me up here for more adventures and challenges and... All that good stuff that I want out of the game. It's just kind of a awkward way to do it. Narratively wise. Because as we all know, even with an RPG, gameplay comes first. Watch me dance. It's the dance in the hidden land. All I can think is maybe these dancing girls are just supposed to be, like, showcasing the music? Maybe? It's just weird otherwise. I don't understand why they exist. They all have their own songs, though, so that's something. Alright, that was worthwhile. Oh, how's Sid doing now, by the way? Oh, Sid's dead. That's right. <laughs> I just wanted to check his equipment. I forgot he actually threw himself off the boat. Alright, to Baron, if I can remember where to find it. Uh, oh, there's Dan Kien. There's... I can't remember what that place is called. There's Baron. To the barren land. And of course, you can waltz right in. There's no king anymore to stop us. A monster was turning into our king? We may have also been under the monster's control. Or maybe you are a monster and you just don't remember it. Psychological trickery. I hear voices from the basement. I'm scared. If you're a monster and you don't know it, are you really a monster? 
That's the big question here. All of Golbez's soldiers were not human. Oh, King. What a convenient way to... Make it okay for you to butcher them all. We'll post guard here. I knew there was something wrong about the King, but I didn't want to lose my life. Yeah, probably the wise choice. Of course, Palo and Porum are still there. Keeping guard. Never again. We sure will guard here. You guard that nothing. You're guarding the throne itself. Not even the king, just the throne. Maybe sit on it every once in a while to keep it warm for whoever shows up to replace him. Maybe we'll just bring Edward out of retirement. He can just come and be the king of Baron instead of Dampian. He needs a new kingdom. You have a kingdom with no king and a... King with no kingdom. Just pop them together. There you go. Everything's happy. Of course that doesn't actually happen. <laughs> Pretty sure in the after years Cecil is actually the king. Just because he's that awesome. He's not even in line for the throne. I feel like they don't even know how kings work. You don't just do something great and become king. You do something great and gain the king's favor. Because the king is above greatness. The king is the law. That is how kings work. Well, how they used to work. These days, the king just kind of waves. So does the queen. Uh, is where I'm supposed to go in the castle or the town? I can't remember. I think this is just where the Enterprise was. Oh no, there's actual treasure in here. Okay. That actually might have been kind of useful a long time ago. Not that I've ever run out, so I think I'm okay. I didn't need it. Cecil, boss ordered us to attach the soak to the Enterprise. Ah, that's right. No, it won't take long. I don't even know why I need the hook. I mean, I know why I need the hook. I just don't think the characters have said they need the hook. Of course, we got a little comedy routine here. There is something about the ability to tell like a little story without dialogue every now and then. Dialogue is great, but it's nice to just get a little thing like that. Now you can hook and carry the hovercraft. How do you even know I have a hovercraft? Sid wasn't even there for that. To hook or let go of the hovercraft, press A over the craft. Now you can go to the cave of Eblen by the Tower of Babel. Bring the hovercraft to the shore and attach it there. Then use it to get to the cave. I just finished in the Tower of Babel. I destroyed the cannon. The Sid is... Oh, I can tell you are having trouble handling him. But I won't blame you. Well, good luck! Yeah, I don't think the characters have a motivation for going there. They don't need to go to Ebland for any reason. Well, I guess maybe they're chasing Rubikens, but... Why? Of course now, I can pick up the Hypocraft. Probably thought that this thing was useless from now on, huh? This also might be the only game with a hovercraft in it. I mean, if I was trying to get back underground, couldn't I have just stayed underground? Why did I have to go through the hole just to get... Uh, just to get away from the Red Wings? Is that why? Oh, here we are. This is Ablan. Oh, and then the hovercraft gets me to the cave. I see. I think there actually might be something in the castle itself, so let's go in there first. Ablan. Oh, yeah. This is the place where pretty much everything is a secret hidden path. Yep. For not much reward. It's actually been a long time since I've actually... Well, I keep saying it, but it's been a long time since I've played the game, so I don't remember a lot of it. A lot of it I do. Some of the more memorable parts, but... Just general things I might not recall. 
Actually, I was thinking about it. I think Indra is actually someone familiar. If my memory now serves me correctly. Yep, Indra is Rama. Actually, really? I wonder if they're weak to something. That would make this easier. No weak points found. No, just gotta keep whacking at him, I guess. Learned Cure 3! Always nice. All that for an elixir I'll probably never use. I really like the idea that the big heroic warriors just sort of march into an already destroyed castle and start taking all their crap. You gotta appreciate that, at least a little bit. Hello? I actually don't know if I ever found that. Not much over here, but that's kinda cool. Mute, 2000 GP. Yeah, those secrets are everywhere in this place. Wait, what? How did I get here? Um, did I just make a circle? Oh, I just went down again. Wow, my head got so turned around there. What? What the heck? Now, yeah, for some reason, my brain just looked at that stairs and went, "Hey, it's new stairs. I'll go up to somewhere new." But no, it's the stairs I literally just came in two minutes ago. That's how bad my memory can get these days. Holy crap! Cave of Eblan. Shuriken. Spoiler warning. Heal. Jin, kill them all. Again, one of those weird mental associations, I just assume that lightning kills flying things. I'm pretty sure that one comes from Pokemon. Plus, it just makes intuitive sense, too. I mean, they're flying. They're completely susceptible to lightning, right? High up in the sky, basically just a big old lightning rod. I didn't even use Indra. I meant to use Indra. Did you rambling around lightning? And I didn't even use Rama. Damn it! The names are all wrong. Ah! I thought you were monsters. We lost our place to live. This is our home now. Where are the people of Eblan? Weapons, armors. Gotta find me some armors. Ice, ice, and black. I think I need black. But I don't think I really need ice armor. Let's see, power staff, ice brand, blizzard. I'm pretty sure he already has the blizzard spear. Ah, boomerang, yeah, it is edges. Uh, hmm. I shouldn't realize Rhea could use bows and arrows. That's a thought. I'll get her the... Hmm... I actually don't like bows and arrows much. They don't do enough damage to justify all the micromanaging you have to do. I keep going to the wrong person just because... Power Staff. Whoa! Attack jump to 45. I wonder what power actually does. I need to try and use it as an item. Maybe it does something cool. I just start increasing everyone's attack power. I don't think I've ever actually tried it. I we'll totally have to see what happens. I could give her the bow and arrow, though. Maybe I'll buy her some poison arrows and just do that. Let's see if I can poison some stuff. There we go. There. Yeah, 
Maybe we'll get some stuff done now. Our prince wants to look around, but hasn't come back yet. This path leads to the Tower of Babel. That's where Rubikant has his headquarters. Food is running short. We hid in here. We don't say. To rescue the king and queen, the prince is digging a hole into the Tower of Babel. But I haven't seen him lately. The prince will beat up those bad guys, right? Naming way. Wow, this is the first time I've seen you. Or the first time I've tried to bother to talk to you. The hip cat is the one who changes your character's names. Actually, that's actually kind of a weird thing. Anyway, through this tunnel is the Tower of Babel, Rubicant, and Edge. And we will go through there when we continue to remember Final Fantasy II next time. Later!